this is a brief tour of the latest evolution of JetTech Pro version 17.4 for the 2008 season will be released in early December of this year it will be available as a free upgrade to existing Pro users and as a new purchase from the worldwide network of JetTech development partners and of course from RoltaxJetting.com This is a typical setup for a senior Roltax cart and you can adjust the main jet jetting factor simply here and similarly the jetting factor for the needle there. Within this module are 10 individual database settings and you can figure these for any of the Del Auto range carburetors. For instance in number 2 I have stored an ICC setup for the VHSH30 classic Del Auto racing carburetor. And as you can see in this example because the rules allow then both the needle jet and idle jet change with the change in air density. To quickly demonstrate that, if I settle down in temperature, you will notice not only the washer and main jet changing, but also the idle jet and needle jet. JetTech's internal software dynamic simulation model can be further enhanced by the use of JetTech Flowbench, in which you can adjust individually the rate of change with air density of the needle clip, main jet, idle jet and needle jet. Going to the Delorto needle analysis screen, this feature is used to determine the optimum needle from the hundreds of needles available from Delorto. You first enter the carburetor information in this top panel and then below for each needle selected here you will find the equivalent main jet and in the graphical representation below whichever needle you select then it is compared with the reference needle. Moving on to diaphragm carbs you can adjust JetTech's dynamic simulation model to match the characteristics of your 3 jet diaphragm carburetor or a 2 jet model. The adjustments are similar to that on the Del Auto screen and equally as easy to achieve the optimum jetting for your chosen carburetor. Moving on to gear, oil and weight on this screen consists of a number of small and quick utilities. Starting at the top, here if we select the engine sprocket and axle sprocket then the equivalent gearing is displayed here. So an 1171 is in this case equivalent to a 1277, a 1383 and so on. The overall gear ratio is displayed here and if you select after measuring the rear tire circumference here then the cart speed at the maximum revs displayed here in this case 13,620 is displayed 90.3 kilometers per hour and the frightening one the figure of 25 meters or just over covered by the cart per second. Next if your chosen ratio is say 40 to 1 then the percentage is displayed here if you are mixing 5 liters of fuel then you need to use 125 cc's of oil to achieve the 40 to 1 ratio. To the right here we have a simple uh, weight distribution percentage uh, utility. You simply adjust the corner weights to that measured on your cart and the percentage 
weight distribution is displayed front to rear and side to side. Also if you enter your class weight then a quick calculation is made uh, the cart weight is calculated and finally on this screen the target revs utility. At the gearing of 1277 selected at the top of the screen if your maximum revolutions on your last run were 13658 and of course you can adjust this figure here then to achieve a target of say 14055 on your next run then you need to change the gearing to 1279 new to this version of Pro is the right click menu so you can quickly navigate to any of the screens within JetTech Pro. Let's move now to handling analysis. This utility is designed to help the newcomer to the sport and you simply enter by moving your mouse to the corner sector you are interested in. Select your handling deficiency and click and as you can see below, a number of options to correct this handling deficiency are displayed. Moving to tyre temperature analysis. Determine from your tyre manufacturer the optimum tyre temperature to be used. And dial it into this control. Then in turn, click on each of the cart tyres and enter the temperatures you have measured when your cart returns from the track. And finally the last temperature. Now select the circuit direction either clockwise or anti-clockwise and then simply press the analyze button and a tire temperature analysis report is produced detailing pressures on individual wheels, caster camber reports, weight distribution, uh, rear axle combination stiffness and a general note with regard to chassis alignment. Now let's go to cart setup. This screen again will be familiar to most users of Pro. Uh, for the 2008 season we have enhanced this feature by adding lap times and track uh, selection. You can simply enter the track or any number of tracks at which you race. If you then press this button having adjusted these parameters to match those of your cart chassis, copy the data to the clipboard and again you can either save the setup to the internal notes feature or you can save the complete setup to the notes field of your data logger software. Now here as you can see we at JetTech Motorsport use the AIM Race Studio software and the full setup in shorthand form is pasted to each track session when we download now moving on to the latest addition to the JetTech Pro software, uh, the Data Analyst feature. This is new for 2008 and enables you to store all of your race session records that are produced in the cart setup screen. You can search, edit or delete any of these records. We believe that JetTech Pro is now the most advanced and versatile racing software available anywhere in the world and should lift your racing program to the top step of the podium.